If there had been no Easter, no resurrection, there would be no forgiveness for your sins. There would be no hope of heaven. There would be no purpose in living. It is the most important event. Now, it's interesting and ironic that when Jesus Christ was crucified and died on the cross, his followers fell apart. They just scattered to the winds. They were devastated. In fact, it wasn't supposed to happen that way. In their mind, Jesus Christ was going to set up a literal kingdom here on earth, a theocracy, and ruin the Roman Empire. And all of a sudden, he's being killed between two thieves on a cross. And they're going, what's happening? Did we miss this? Uh, did, we, did we mess it up? And when Jesus Christ was arrested, all of his followers, they were called disciples, ran away. They fled like cowards. They, some of them even denied that they knew him. And they all just scattered to the winds. And so for several days until Jesus rose again, these guys were bewildered. They were discouraged. They were defeated. They were disillusioned. They were demoralized. They were defeated. They were depressed. In a word, they were running on empty. Now, three days later on Easter Sunday, Jesus Christ comes back to life. And that night, Easter Sunday evening, late in the evening, he goes to meet with his followers, the disciples. And what happens in that room so forever changes them that the transformation is unbelievable. And those who were once cowards are now full of courage. And those who were once uh, empty are now empowered. And those who were once defeated and discouraged and demoralized are now daring. They are full of boldness. They are afraid of nothing and no one. They're ready to take on the Roman Empire and the entire world. And they have ultimate confidence. They're full of joy. And they're not even the same people that they were three days earlier. They are incredibly empowered. What happened? What changed them? How did Jesus refill their empty tank when they were running on empty? 